Hello everybody, my name is Nanya, and today we are back with another beautiful, beautiful video of Deusim. We're back with the beautiful kingdom of Lun Lun, run by, I'm pretty sure, I'm actually pretty sure these guys run it. It's like a heretic ran thing, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I decided not to end it though, because I'm a good person. As you can see, uh, most of the places have reached the industrial age, and I just noticed this because, I mean, I guess this is the first time I paid attention. The ships changed from, uh, you can probably see it, yeah, over here, a pirate ship, like a normal average pirate ship, what you'd assume, to, uh, steamboats, which I think is really interesting. Uh, I, we still have the same problem over here, how these guys need tools, but because they don't have a dock, it can't be imported, because these stupid Nambak settlers aren't smart enough to just pick up some tools and go around. It, it's really stupid. I don't even know why these guys need tools, but obviously, uh, they're not going to get it anytime soon. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should... Excuse me. Maybe I should expand them. Because that could possibly be why. Like if I destroy... Like if I make a little uh, waterway there. And then I could put more sand over here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. It'll probably kill a few people. But as long as it's no one important, who cares? One, two, three. Ha. Huh. Ah, uh, I just love the streams of dying people in the morning, don't you? It's not even the morning, but who cares? Uh, I don't think I wanted to do it that way, but, uh, like I said, who cares? BAM! Immediately they made themselves a dock. All they needed was a little more water. In my opinion, that's pretty, that's pretty stupid, but... Hey, I I'm happy if they're happy. Oh, they actually have houses over here in Kitabi. Like, even Eden, which I'm pretty sure is in the Industrial Age, has the medieval houses. And, uh, who are these guys? Uh, not even gonna try to pronounce that. But these guys, they are sticking with, I'm pretty sure, medieval housing. But, uh, Kidipi over here, they don't have medieval housing. They have newer housing. They have actual houses. Now, I know these guys are in the industrial age. I thought Lun I thought Ralamo over there was as well, because, well, they have a steamboat, first of all, and, uh, I should probably just walk around with my hands held high. I'm starting to believe that this isn't actually a dock or a shipyard because they don't have a specialized building. It's just a, a port, I guess, because these guys have it too. So I'm starting to think if there's a building next to water, it has that, but that doesn't mean it's like a seaport. And because they have buildings over here, I'm thinking about, hold on, let me make sure I don't spawn too many. I'm thinking about expanding the waterway all the way up here. That's how badly I want these idiots to just have some sort of dock. Like, I, I want them to have it really bad. And it looks like they finally got their tools because it's not saying air, they don't, they can't get that or whatever. So it looks like they're finally getting it delivered. Oh, did I just, yeah, I, I swear I saw somebody bringing a box over here. So, what I'm thinking is, uh, what I just did doesn't matter, and now they're starting to bring boxes with tools. At least I'd hope that's the case. Musket! She has a musket. Hey. C come here. Uh -oh. Come here. Hand, I need you to work for me. Alright, we have Day here. She's a coward, industrious worker, 48 years old, and she had a musket. Very interesting. You <laughs> continue your day. Day. Ha! <laughs> get it because because like her name because because her name is day all right it looks like the pirates finally made themselves a dock here now because i'm not trying to waste my uh my beautiful beautiful tiles because i do know there's a tile limit i'm gonna get rid of these unused water tiles like these oh shoot oh that was where their ship went sorry i mean that is talk about unlucky the second it spawned i destroyed that all right well hopefully they'll just spawn a ship here and it does look like they just got traded with... Okay, this is really weird, because that's the pirate one, and this is the normal Egyptian one. So it's looking like the pirates, for whatever reason, decided to make theirs up there. Meanwhile, the bid... bid bit... the bibby... They decided to make theirs over here, which I think is really stupid. And I guess I'm over here now. That was, uh, that was an accident. This is very peaceful music. Nice change in the scenery. I, I've kind of been looking around, and, uh, I've noticed some of the men have top Hello. hats, like this fellow, Marlin here. Oh. He's got a nice vest with a top hat on. He's a greedy pacifist. 
Age 44. You got this person with a long hey. musket over there. Lun Lun has raised an army in Ralama. I wonder what that could be for. I'm pretty sure they literally have everything under their control except for these guys over here. Alma did Bid, Bidby. I'm just gonna call these guys Bidby. So they don't have Alma did Biddy and uh, those guys. I'm just gonna stop trying with these names, but they own literally everything in this little world except for three cities, and they cannot stand for it. They are just. They need everything. They're so greedy. That's why I don't like them. First of all, it's Heretic Ran. Alright, this kingdom got started up when heretics ri rose up against my religion. And then they just kind of conquered the entire world, slowly but surely. Uh, check out the rest of the JSM playlist and you can see it's uh, happened for yourself. Shameless plugs, I know. I mean, chances are you won't even check it out. Chances are most people haven't even watched this far through because most of the time when I go and check my statistics, it says people watch like one minute of the way through and it says that's an improvement, which is sad. So I'd really appreciate it if you just watched more than one minute of my videos. So if you're here right now, thank you. Whether you're subscribed or not, thank you. I really appreciate you. You're a good person. Unlike some people who only watched one minute in, like... I swear, there's some people that click on my videos, watch, hello everybody, my name is Nanya, and then click off. What's the point of clicking on a video if you're only gonna watch the intro? It's just, it's kind of stupid to me. But, you know, you do you, a view's a view. Uh, looks like these guys need coal. You, they're very demanding. Like, really early on in their little settlement, they were like, oh, we need tools, we need gold, we need coal. Like, you stop being so demanding. And they're bringing in copper, too. Looks like we got a heretic over here. And he's ruining my people's faith. Hello. Excuse me. Go away. Hey, Mr. Heretic. I'm afraid I cannot let you do that. Let me actually. Oh, whoops. I... That is a ongoing trend in this series where I just accidentally crush people. Okay, let's skip to the Oh, Lumlon has annexed Almadid. I was. I kind of forgot that. Little pop-ups don't happen. You can see they're sending two little armies over here to our pirate village as well. And if they succeed, which chances are they will, they'll only have one city not under their control, and they'll probably go and take that over as well. These guys are really, really greedy. They're, they're surrounding them. One, two, three armies coming in with muskets. Hold on. They're not even using the muskets. I, I just... Okay, they are, but they're also swinging the muskets. Look at this. He's not even hitting him with the proper part. It's it's stupid, to be honest. Let's take a look at this. Look at that. You're whacking them with the musket. You see, British muskets, they have a thing, like, have, like, a knife at the end. I forget what it's called. But they're not even using that part, which is stupid. I think I'm going to put some desert in the middle here just to give these guys more room to build and expand their, uh, themselves, you know. And I might put a little waterway in the middle there. Very nice. Uh, I don't want anything here, though. Let's get rid of that. I do want uh, just a tad bit of water here. Very nice, very nice. I might as well just put some desert there, you know. One desert, one savanna, you know how it is. Very nice. Alright, I think I'm kind of done world building for now. Because I have all the factions, I'm pretty sure. There's nothing else to add. I have the pirates, I have the Egyptians, I have the grassland people, like the normal ones. I have the Japanese, I have the Nordic, and I'm pretty sure nothing can be built over here on the Swamplands. That's why I even have them in the first place. I am actually pretty sure they are useful for mining. Like, you can put stone down and mines. Because, yeah, these have coal. Which I'm pretty sure actually is over here as well. No, no, these guys have iron. Who knows? Um, while we're here, they have some heretics. Go Let's away. take care of these idiots. Go uh -oh. away. I'm gonna introduce you guys to the volcano. That's why I have it here. It's a nice heretic disposal service. Have fun. <laughs> ah, who? There's another one here. Hey, buddy, you want to join your heretic friends? And this person, I don't think they're a heretic. Yeah, they're not. They're actually a priest. But because everyone's wearing red, there's a heretic right here to compare. They both look like heretics because they're both wearing red. You can go in the fire too. Have fun, buddy. And you don't need to. You can just 
you believe in my religion and you actively support it, so you can just take a dive. Over here, you can see they're making much more advanced boats. It used to just be wooden little broken boats, but now they're nice and advanced, and I like them. Lon Lon has a new leader. Oh, someone died, I guess. I'm surprised they haven't conquered that place. I'm actually surprised no one has rebelled, because I know that at least one of these cities can rebel and then form their own kingdom, but no one has, and I don't know why. Like, I'm about to head over here and actually inspire them to make their own kingdom at this point. I might do that. And hey, to you two heretics, come here. Thunder. I don't like you. Oh, look at that. The thunder scared this Hello. one into becoming not a heretic. Hey, uh -oh. All right, well, you don't have to die. You, on the other hand. Mmm, delicious, delicious. Uh, these guys have reached the industrial age. Really? Industrial pirates? I mean, they still live out of tiny little huts. It's kind of sad. Where's my Inspire? I'm going to turn you guys into your own little kingdom. Now, these guys will probably end up going to war with Lun Lun because they're just that greedy. But, uh, I mean, maybe they'll end up annexing some things. What I'm thinking is maybe they can't stand up against heretic things. Who knows, who knows? Ooh, look at this down here in Ralama. You can actually see some more modern houses. Well, not modern, but industrialized houses. Instead of these, like, clay huts and stuff, you actually have actual building. And it looks like they made themselves a temple. This is something I wanted to explore. Hold on, let me, uh, let me heal your diseases. I sound like a nerd right now, I really do. This is something I, I, this is something I want to explore, man, right? I'm really not good at that voice, who cares? Um... Let me just heal this disease. Anyone else? No? That's great. Oh, I just heard someone cough. Uh, I'm sure they can deal with the disease on their own. I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah, that's what I wanted to explore. I wanted to see what all the different castles look like. Because I know when uh, the Nordic people make a castle, it looks like that. And it looks the same in the grasslands. But I'm pretty sure it would look different in the Japanese-themed places. So I want to see what their castle will look like. That's why I want to inspire them. Because although they have that little dojo kind of thing, that might be a little racist, but although they have that building, if you made them like a royal, they'd make a castle-type building, and I want to see that. It's like Egypt with their pyramids. You might think that's their castle-type, but it's actually this that's their castle-type. And then even the pirates, they might have a different kind of pa castle type, and I'm interested to see that as well. <laughs> oh, and it looks like they finally upgraded from their little pirate huts to actual nice-looking things. I mean, just look at this pirate dock. Looks nice. I, I gotta give it to them. I, I like it. But anyway, uh, I think that's gonna be it for this video of Deusim. Because usually, these recordings are like 30 minutes long, and that's really hard for me to edit. Oh! <laughs> Well, that's going to be a fun thing to explore next video. They are at war with Lun Lun. Okay, so be sure to check back in for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.